Hi guys, welcome to Birmingham Boiler Fix. I mean, I have a look at this heat line. Uh, hot water is working, but the heating isn't. Another engineer was trying to have a go at it yesterday, the day before, and he's phoning me uh, throughout the day asking what, what I can do to sort it out. He was saying, he was asking if he needs to change the pump or the circuit board. Mm -hmm. You can't see the pump mm -hmm. rotating. So, uh, over the phone, it was really difficult for me to help him out or do anything for him. But anyway, today I've come down and we're going to have a, we're gonna have a go at it ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'll see if we can sort it out. So, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, just some the side of a lucky yara. And there you go, that's all that needed to be done. Put the room start in, raise the temperature on the room start, put the clock in constant, and the mode button, put the heating on. And that's it. I think this, the central heating has turned on and is fired up, and hopefully it will all be working fine after that. <laughs> Right guys, the temperature on the boiler is going up, the central heating temperature, and this guy was adamant the bo the pump is gone. You know what, I, now I'm, th I'm thinking about it. I should change the pump for him and just to make him happy. Anyway, the boiler is working fine now. If your boiler is broken down, Birmingham or South Birmingham, mm -hmm. give us a call. We'll repair it for you. All your favorite boilers from Baxi, Biasi, Worcester, Bach, and Valen. Anyway, there's two films in this one. So the next one is a Valent. <laughs> Right guys, now my second film on this one. This is a Valent, very old classic Valent. Uh, it's been a long time since I've worked on one of these. I remember good old days when we were changing the diverter valves on these on a regular basis. Or the micro, domestic hot water micro switch is always gone and we're bending them. Or the diaphragm in the diverter valve we had to change. I've got so many memories of this boiler. I remember when I was stuck on it and I was changing a diverter valve, a diaphragm on the diverter valve and the screws were rounded off. I had to drill them out. What a nightmare. But that, it's all part of the life, huh? part of developing. Anyway, this one, right, oh, what's happening is it's uh, just going to lock out. It's not even going through the ignition process. As soon as you turn it on, within about three seconds, it's just going to lock out. At one stage, well, at the beginning, right, I'm just thinking it's probably a circuit board uh, that's gone on it. But to be really honest with you, I ain't really got a clue what the hell is wrong with this boiler at this moment. So anyway, keep on watching. We do get it repaired at the end, and we're gonna be, I'll be sharing that with you, how we sort this one out.
Now while I was looking at a circuit board, my elbow touched the pump and I realized the pump was quite hot. So I opened up the pump, the front screw, and I checked it out and it's the, the pump was seized. So I jump started the pump using a little flat screwdriver and it started rotating and the pump started working. And guess what, the boiler fired up. Whippy! Anyway, that was a jammy repair, a lucky one, and sometimes we get them. So I was quite happy and told the customer that was a very tricky repair to do. The customer was very happy anyway because they didn't want to really change the, change the boiler in the middle of, middle of Christmas season. So they were really happy. And I was also very happy because that was a very jammy repair. So lucky repair that was. Birmingham boiler fix. So it's already really pump. Right guys, I put everything back together. I'm just doing my final checks on it and it's working fine. It's firing up all the time. Now, if your boiler is broken at Birmingham, South Birmingham, don't forget to give us a call. We repair all your favorite boilers. Worcester, Bosch, Baxi, Valent, many more. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, stay positive, keep smiling. Hopefully, that'll keep you happy. Right guys, I haven't worked on them Valent for years. I remember we were changing divert valves on them on a regular basis. You know, the diaphragm from uh, right at the bottom. And next thing you know, the screw's broken in there and you had to drill it out and oh, I remember them. Anyway, it's been a while since I worked on that one. This one was a jammy dip here. I, I didn't have a clue what I was doing there. Right, anyway, um, it was just a pump. The, I just my, my elbow just touched the pump and it was really hot. I didn't think it was the, I, I couldn't even imagine it could be the pump because it's just going into a lockout. Uh, the red light was coming out and I was going thinking it's not going through the ignition process. So it might be something wrong with the board. I was looking at the board. Uh, no sparks and nothing. So the the pump didn't even occur to me for some reason. Anyway, my elbow touched it and it was really hot. So I opened the front screw up and checked it, it was seized. Used the screwdriver, released it, and next thing you know, the boiler fired up. Yeah, lucky to be here. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.